They came out and said very strongly, $6,500 will be taken away from families under his plan, that his plan is an economic disaster. If you look at what he wants to do, you know, the if you look at his plan, no, his environmental plan, climate. you know who developed it? AOC plus three. They know nothing about the climate. Okay. Would he close it down falls, the oil industry? It falls, would you close it down falls. the oil industry? By the way, I would transition from the oil industry, yes. Oh, I would that's transition. A big it is a big statement. That's a because big statement. I would stop. Why would you do that? Because the oil industry pollutes significantly. Oh, I see. Here's the deal. But that's a big statement. That. Well, if you let me finish the statement, because it has to be replaced by renewable energy over time, over time. And I'd stop giving to the oil industry, I'd stop giving them federal subsidies. You won't give federal subsidies to the to the gas, excuse me, to the to uh, solar and wind. Yeah. Why are we giving it to oil industry? We actually do All give right. it to solar and wind. We and have that's one maybe final the biggest question. statement in terms of business. That's the biggest statement. Okay. Because basically what he's saying question, is he is Mr. going President. to destroy the oil industry. Will you remember that Texas? Will you okay. remember that Pennsylvania, Oklahoma? Vice President Biden. Number one. Number two, I don't make money from China. You do. I don't make money from Ukraine. You do. I don't make money from Russia. You made three and a half million dollars, Joe, and your son gave you. They even have a statement that we have to give 10 percent to the big man. You're the big man, I think. I don't know. Maybe you're not. But you're the big man, I think. Your son said we have to give 10 percent to the big man. Joe, what's that all about? It's terrible. Yes, I do. And again, he's been in government 47 years. He never did a thing except in 1994 when he did such harm to the black community. And they were called, and he called them, super predators. And he said that. He said it, super predators. And they kept never lived that down. 1994, your crime bill, the super predators. Nobody has done more for the black community than Donald Trump. Criminal justice reform, prison reform. Opportunity Zones with Tim Scott, a great senator from South Carolina. He came in with this incredible idea for Opportunity Zones. It's one of the most successful programs. People don't talk about it. Tremendous investment is being made. Biggest beneficiary, the black and Hispanic communities. And then historically black colleges and universities. After three years of coming to the office, I love some of those guys. They were great. They came into the office. And they said, I said, what are you doing? After three years, I said, why do you keep coming back? Because we have no funding. I said, you don't have to come back every year. We have to come back. Because President Obama would never give them long-term funding. And I did. But why didn't he do it four years ago? Why didn't you do that four years ago, even less than that? Why didn't you I do am it? You were vice president. You keep talking about all these things you're going to do, and you're going to do this. But you were there just a short time ago, and you guys did nothing. We did. You know, Joe, I, I ran because of you. I ran because of Barack Obama, because you did a poor job. If I thought you did a good job, I would have never run. I would have never run. I ran because of you. I'm looking at you now. You're a politician. I ran because of you.